In this video, revealing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to become an Amazon seller and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day by selling on Amazon. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin to remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, which is the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out in the link below. All right guys, so let's go over the first step and that's actually defining what Amazon FBA is. Now I remember when I first heard about what Amazon FBA was and what just selling on Amazon was when I first got started. You know, I remember, you know, when I first got started back in like 2013, 2014, I first heard the concept of selling on Amazon and I was like, what? I could literally sell on Amazon? I had no idea. I just thought Amazon was a place where I would go and buy, you know, notebooks and pens and books and what I had no idea that someone with no experience whatsoever, who's literally a, a nobody, could actually partner with Amazon and sell on their platform. Now you're probably wondering, well, why would I go ahead and do that? Okay, should I go and create my own website? I know other people go and create, you know, like drop shipping stores and whatnot. Why on Amazon? Well, the thing that intrigued me, especially because I had no time and no experience whatsoever, especially in marketing, because you know I was supposed to be a dentist, right? Like my background was like like biology and chemistry and whatnot. Was the fact that Amazon has an inbuilt marketing system already set up for you? Like you could already see, Amazon is the number one e-commerce uh, store in the world, and you can see that they get 2.67 billion people. Billion people, and they're buying all these weird things every single day, like toilet paper and, and gummy bears, and like you know, um, Red Lobster, like food mixing kits for bread. Right? There's so many people buying products already online, and the reason why I got excited was I was like, okay, I could literally come in partner with Amazon, sell on Amazon's platform, but instead of me trying to get the customers, which is one of the hardest things to do, I can literally have Amazon do all of that and all I have to do is figure out which products I could go ahead and sell. Which leads me to the next step and that's exactly how much money can you go ahead and make. Now with the system that I'm gonna share with you right now in two days training, you know, I literally went from like zero to a hundred dollars a day pretty, pretty fast. Um, and we even got it to the point where it was like $700 a day in revenue. But there was also like a lot of ups and downs, a lot of trials and tribulations and like I said, if I could just like save yourself time and money and heartache and not making the same mistakes, then this video would have definitely been worth it. Now, of course, I interview a lot of people on my podcast that live here in Bali, Indonesia, like some of them making like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit. But there's a lot of people that are in e-commerce that make a bunch of money online that live here in Bali that, you know, we literally talk about, you know, things like Amazon and other things, e-commerce. And some of these people literally make millions, you know, and the craziest thing is when they do really make their money is when they sell the business to someone else to go ahead and eat them up. And then just like that, they have like a huge payday. So if you have the intention of selling your Amazon FBA business, it becomes a very extremely sellable asset where a lot of investors actually look into it to park their cash and their capital to get a return in their investment. So that, that's also like a huge opportunity for people that are just seeing, they're like, oh, I could literally run this business for a couple of years sell it for several millions, like some of my friends that I interview on my podcast, and just like that, you know, start another business or just become an investor. But like I said, the fact that there are so many people on Amazon right now is literally, Amazon is kind of like a, a, a piece of real estate. It's like a piece of country. It's like literally North America when the British were like, oh, let's go check out what's over there and like take over that land. It's the exact same thing, but in the digital space and the people that take advantage of it and see it more like digital real estate in terms of people going on here, like this is literally, you know, half of the population of the world, right? The more you guys understand the opportunity that lies with Amazon. Now, how much does it actually cost to go ahead and get started? You could see that for for people that are just getting started, it's $39 a month plus the selling fees. And all the selling fees is, is when someone goes over to Amazon and say buys this like laptop. Of course they have to ship it, they have to pack it, they have to do all the customer service. So they take just like a little bit of a fraction of whatever it is that they help you sell. Now the coolest thing is you don't actually have to pay that until after you've already made the sale. Now let's actually talk about the pros and cons. The pros are that Amazon literally does everything. You know, all you gotta do is find a good product to sell and we're gonna tell you exactly a foolproof way on exactly how you go to, could go ahead and do that. Um, and then literally Amazon, you know, ships it, they package it, they do the customer service. If it's, you know, a little bit faulty, they worry about the refunds and getting it back. They literally do everything. 
right? They literally have like hundreds of thousands of employees that you get a partner with that they literally do everything turnkey. And all you gotta do is pick which products that you could go ahead and just send them over to Amazon and have Amazon do all the hard work. That was literally the biggest appeal. Now, the only cons and negatives for that is there is a startup fee that is you know getting started. I'm gonna show you exactly how to sell on Amazon where you don't actually have to pay the seller fee. Um, but you could see that typically for people getting started on Amazon, you have to pay $39 per month when you're first getting started, right? So for people that are getting started, they're like, oh, I don't wanna spend any money when they first get started. That's a con for some people, as well as another thing is, you know, inventory in general and inventory businesses in general can be very, very expensive. And the revenue that you see isn't necessarily the profit that you keep because you always need to constantly be buying more inventory to support the next level of growth. Right, and of course there are ways to get around it, like you can have an intention of selling the Amazon FBA business, which is really, really good, or you could do the other ways that I'm gonna share with you in this video that actually doesn't require you to spend any money on inventory whatsoever, which is insane. Which leads me to the next step, and that's what do you actually now sell on Amazon? Well, the thing about Amazon is they literally sell anything. Like you could literally come in here, type in Donald, Trump toilet paper. They literally have a thing for that. Look at this, Donald Trump toilet paper. You could even sell like books, right? They started off with books. You could even see that I literally come in here and sell books on Amazon. You can see, oh, and not just books, right? Like all of the ancillary products as well. You can see Kindle books, paperback books, and audiobooks as well. What else can you also sell from Amazon? Well, you could also sell, for example, t-shirts. Like people are coming in here and buying a bunch of t-shirts. All of these businesses, can potentially make someone six figures to even seven figures when done right. The problem is, is just picking which type of product that you wanna go ahead and sell. So there's many different, like I said, revenue streams. So let's start off with the first way, which is the way that I got started with. And I started essentially selling grill mats, right? I remember buying a bunch of products from China, shipping them over to Amazon and selling like these grill mat containers and stuff like that. Um, it's like the things that literally, you know, it, it's just on there and then you just put like shrimp on there and then just like that you could like cook something, right? Um, so let's actually go over the physical product way. If I was gonna go ahead and sell a physical product, how would I go ahead and compete against these people? Well, the first step is I need to get an idea of like what people do not like about this. Because this is what I already know, is I know people are searching for this already. Just because when I type in grill mat, all of these things start popping up. What does this mean? It's literally an opportunity where Amazon's saying, hey dummy, people are searching for this every single day. If you rank for this search term on our search engine, when you go and rank and like be like the number one spot like right here, you could potentially go ahead and make good money, right? So what you guys gotta understand is you gotta understand, okay, well, if people are making a bunch of money with this, how can I first improve this so that, you know, like I can have a unique selling proposition? So what I would like doing actually is like going over to uh, like all of the reviews uh, and we could just click on the ratings right here and we could go on all of the four star reviews. And you could even see this one right here. Do not use for bacon. I doubt it was the fault of the product. We tested it with steak and bacon. Unfortunately, the bacon grease pulled and then caught fire within seconds and destroyed the mat. Do not cook bacon. Ruin first attempt use. Um, let's see, I allowed the mat to cool while I enjoyed my dinner time and then I placed tears in the mat. So what I could do is I feel like a lot of people are like, okay, um, the, the, the mat is, is not lasting, right? So I can literally find a better product that's even thicker Right? So I can literally come in here, like for example, to Alibaba and type in grill mat thick. And I could actually go and find a product that's even more thicker than that so that it doesn't actually have to go ahead and face the same consequences as that, right? Um, so that, that's one thing. I would always try improving the products. Another thing that I like doing is if you go over to here, you can actually find all of the best sellers right now on Amazon. You just gotta click on that Amazon button right there scroll onto here and actually just even like Googling it would be even a lot faster. Amazon bestsellers right here and you can see all of these things are essentially being sold and they're updated hourly. So you know exactly what are the most sales right now. So you can see that you see masks are doing really well, disposable masks for kids, right? So that's like a really interesting thing because look at this, it only has 346 reviews but the other ones have like 2,000, right? So you can see exactly what's doing well. I would like coming in here and picking one of these really niche down products, and again, do the exact same thing, click on another one of these things again, because the deeper you go into it, the more you know specific products that you could go ahead and sell. You know, um, if I go ahead and go to bakeware, 
you could see the top ones that are doing well right now, and this is literally one of the products that we ended up trying to sell like literally in the beginning. Um, what I would like doing is seeing if there's any opportunities where there's less reviews. Like you could see this is 10th, and this ad was only 300 reviews compared to all these other ones. So you gotta understand, okay, if all these other ones have a lot of, you know, for example, reviews, how can I come in and why did this one do well? Maybe it's because it's a sandwich cutter and I don't see like much sandwich cutters there, right? Um, and you could actually see, maybe it's because it's like even a cheaper price. You can see this is 21 bucks, this is 12 bucks, right? But I can literally get the same product all the way, for example, in Alibaba and just type in sandwich cutter. And you could see that they have all these different sandwich cutters that you could go ahead and, for example, you know, test out. And some of these are literally like pennies compared to um, the things that you're dealing. Look at this, this is the exact same picture, a dollar, right? And you could see when you sell it on Amazon, even if you sell it for half the price of the main competitor, you're still, you know, like having seven to eight X margins, right? After the Amazon seller fees, you know, you literally can make a good amount of money. So that's like one way of creating revenue. The other way that I did, um, when you when you do this way, by the way, you literally need to go ahead and create like an Amazon seller account, which is right over here. Um, but you're probably wondering, well, Mike, what if I wanna sell something on Amazon, but I don't wanna you know, pay certain fees? Well, there's two ways that I figured out that you literally don't have to pay anything, right? Like the first one that I did was, for example, selling merch by Amazon. Now you can literally sell your designs as Amazon products and sell on Amazon, but for free. No upfront costs or investments to you. All you gotta do is upload a design, um, set a list price, we print what's sold, fast shipping with Prime, and then monthly royalties. So what a lot of people are actually doing is they're opting out for this because it's even easier and it's less risk. Like for these, you'd literally have to buy like $500, $1,000 worth of products from China and hope and pray that it's gonna make sales, right? But here, I can literally come in and type in cat t-shirt and literally when someone comes and buys one of these cat t-shirts, notice a lot of these cat t-shirts actually have the same folds, right? This has the same fold right here. This has the same fold right here. These are essentially like the same, you know, thing. The only difference is they're changing, you know, the actual like image and whatnot, right? And essentially how this works is literally Amazon has all of these t-shirts that you don't even have to buy or touch or ship. When someone makes a sale, they literally print the design that you created on there, and then they ship it to the customer, and then you get paid. So that's like a beautiful thing about it. Not a lot of people understand that you can do this very, 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 very cheap. And you can see all you really gotta do is like sign up for this, and it's completely free, and you can already start selling on Amazon. And you're probably wondering, well, Mike, I'm not a good graphic designer. Well, it's very simple. All you gotta do is go to Pinterest and see what design's already doing really well, right? Um, let me just type in cat t-shirt. And the reason why I'm doing this is because Pinterest has a lot of like buyers that are there and they literally save things to buy later. Like look at this, this is one of the top ones that's ranking on Pinterest, I just want all the cats. You know, that literally takes seconds to go and create, even if you're not like a graphic designer. This one, I just want all the cats. Same thing, cats are cool too. So they're just like these simple worded t-shirts that people are saving, got to have more cats because they just like it. You can literally go to a site then, like for example, canva.com, and go ahead and for example, create a design. And when you create a design, I can just type in t-shirt. When I do that, you can see that I can create like an example design on t-shirt. They have all these different templates where I could come in here and uh, use one of these templates and do something very similar, right? Got to have more cats. So just like that, I have literally created a t-shirt that took five seconds to make. I could just download it, upload it onto Merch by Amazon, and it could already start selling on, you know, for example, uh, Amazon. Now the, the way that I also sell on Amazon is by literally just kdp.directpublishing.com. It works like the exact same thing, right? When people literally go to Amazon and wanna buy things, you know, I don't actually have to ship the book myself. I don't have to do any of that myself. All I gotta do is literally, you know, create the book. And I even have a friend that I interviewed on my podcast that gets other people to create the books for them. He literally sells them in like the where wolf love story niche. And the craziest thing is, you know, he makes six figures a year selling, you know, love stories about werewolves, right? And you can see that it's even less competitive because, you know, there's only like a couple reviews compared to like the physical products side of things. So he literally goes to a company like uh, Upwork, types in freelance writer, and he literally gets people from the Philippines where if you could see right here, we could just go to the word Philippines. 
and he looks for an hourly rate of $10 an hour below, and he gets some of these people to get 100% job success that is a freelance writer and you know makes $7 an hour, and just hires them to go ahead and model you know the, the, the books that are already doing really, really well, and he makes six figures on it that way. So as you can see, there's literally so many things that you could sell on Amazon, and like I said, you know, the traditional way of you know going to China and you know buying a bunch of products in bulk, that's one way, but that's if you have like 500 to 1,000 bucks, right? If you literally rank for some of these t-shirts on Amazon, some of these t-shirts can make you $100 a month. Now it doesn't sound like that much, but if you have like 10 t-shirts, right? 10 t-shirts or 10 designs making you $100 a month, that's $1,000 a month profit with no risk to you that you literally could go ahead and then go and buy products from China, but then you have you know, more of a risk adverse uh, decision making process because now you're not putting in more of your money. Does that make sense? Um, so that's one thing that's like really, really understandable for people getting started. Now the next thing you need to understand is how to actually list the product. Well, it's very simple. If you list it on Merch by Amazon or for example, kdp.amazon.com, it's already like kind of like done for you. You just upload it and they already list it. All you gotta do is change the titles. Now the most important thing though is what do you actually title it? Because notice when I typed in grill mat, all these things pop up. This essentially means that this is what people are searching for. So when I create the listing, I want this to be in the title, right? Because if I go ahead and click on this, you know, th different things will pop up. Notice this is a different thing than like the other thing that I went and typed, which is just grill mat in general. And what you want to do when you go ahead and do that is you want to go ahead and also add more words into the actual, um, actual descriptions that are also what people are also searching for. Like for example, nonstick, nonstick BBQ grill mat. Like these are other words that people are also typing for. So nonstick BBQ grill mat. That's literally a word that people are typing in. Mesh mat, rack, topper, tray, pan. You notice that they're literally putting as much of these words in here. Like for example, roasting, pans, dishwasher, forget, um, all of these things, unhappy with your new grill mat, no problem, we have any questions, just tell us and we'll provide you a satisfied solution. So all of these things, that, look at this, non-stick, BBQ grill mat, thicker like what we talked about earlier, as well as a dishwasher safe. So these people literally took into account what are all the negatives of another thing and they just went ahead and for example, double down on it. Remember, it really stems with what are you putting in the title, what are you putting in the description, and you just wanna put that on there as well. But again, you can literally go to Upwork and type in Amazon listing and you could hire someone from the Philippines to do it for you for literally less than $5 an hour, 99% job success, earn 20 grand, top rated. So you can see that there's even more affordable options than for you to actually do it yourself, guys. But hopefully this helps. Obviously, there's even faster and easier ways to make money online, like that's brand new this year. Like for example, this new system that we literally created, have students go from $10 a day to $100 a day to $1,000 a day or more with no experience and with no inventory that they have to manage themselves. You can check it out what that brand new method is in this week's free workshop below, as well as understanding that we also have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to $160,000 in 90 days. As well, check my podcast of all these really successful people that live here in Bali that make a bunch of money online. Like this 11-year-old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars from profit. Check it out right here. Right here. Hope you guys. See you guys later. Ooh.